What's up, LBB Nation? Clark Ross is back here with another video, and today I have a special guest with me. Welcome, Mr. Welcome, Mr. Controversy of the Three Point Conversion dot com. How you doing today, Mr. Controversy? What's going on, man? Did you miss me? What's going on, baby? How you doing? Good. Thanks for asking. So, uh, before we get into this interview with Mr. Controversy, I have two things I need LB, LBB Nation to do. And first, first, uh, the first thing I need you guys to do, I need you guys to like, subscribe, and hit the notification button because I have more videos coming soon, and I'm pretty sure you don't want to miss them. Second thing I need you guys to do, I need you guys to go to the thepointconversion.com because uh, Mr. Controversy has some interviews on there, possibly with your favorite sports athlete. And uh, this is a really, really great website. I think you guys are going to love it. Okay, so uh, let's get into these questions, Mr. Controversy. All right, so, so – um, Tell me more about the three point conversion and how you came up with the name the three point conversion. So, you know what the the funny thing is when I first started, I I didn't even know I was gonna come up with a company. I had um, you know, I love sports, so that's all I did was sports and talk about sports. And you know, one of my um guys was like, "Hey man, I got somebody that's in the radio business and." he might, you know, just have you come on, just, you know, do a show or come on there for a guest spot. So what happened, what happened is um, they needed me to come do this. It was some on YouTube, right? First time I've ever been on YouTube or anything. And it was the NFL draft. And <laughs> so he did his live video with cameras and everything, right? We're in the sports bar. I've never done anything like this. I'm kind of nervous. And so we, you know, we didn't rehearse. I never met him before. So he's like, all right, this is how we're going to do it. We went through it. And I tell you, I was speaking like a thousand miles per hour because I was so nervous, like, <laughs> and doing a commercial or whatever to break. He was like, man, just slow down. <laughs> Either or after it was over, he was like, man, I love you. You killed it. Hey, why don't you um, continue to be, why don't you come on and be on the show and continue to be on the show? So that's what I was doing for a while until, you, you you know, I don't know if you ever, I mean, you will see it. And the good thing you're on your own, but for, to the viewers and the listeners, you ever been on someone else's show or what have, whatever they're doing, whatever you participate in, and it's theirs. And it's something that, I mean, it's cool because it's theirs, but it's really not what you really want to do or you think it should go a different way. And that's how I felt. And I was in a barbershop one day and I said, you know what? I'm going to come up with my own my own um, show and I came up with it. The first show was called the three point conversion presents making a cup, making a cut because we was in a barbershop, but I came up with the three point conversion because two reasons. First of all, it was three of us that started. And my whole vision was let's all come together, bring in, you know, three of our minds, bring in, you know, I've idea, all of our ideas and make it and convert it to like, you know, just one big show or whatever hence conversion the three-point conversion and then um a lot of people i never told anybody this so y'all the first to notice my older brothers i got two brothers and two of my brothers um shout out to john and jeremy we were the ones that decided to come up with this company because it's three of us so just that's what i came up with all right okay so uh i hear that you were born in chicago but you reside here in atlanta georgia so have you ever had a chance to interview any atlanta falcons or atlanta hawks yeah, um, so I, I was born in Alton, Illinois. A lot of people don't know that either. It's a little small town. Then we moved to Chicago, but still, yeah, I'm from Chicago. And Hawks, yes, Falcons, a few Falcons. Um, he's not a Falcon anymore. His name DeAndre Campbell. I got to interview him. Um, I've actually talked to Julio Jones. This is off the air. At a barbershop, we were doing our show, the three point conversion presents making a cut. We were at, visiting a barbershop, they invited us to do a show, and um, he was actually there. And uh, we were talking and rapping and debating and whatever. But um, of course, the Hawks I mean, I covered the Hawks since was 2021, since 2018, 2017. I'm sorry, so yeah, a lot of Hawks, Trey Young, um, John Collins. Psst. Even people like Jeremy Land, Vince Carter. I've interviewed Vince Carter, which was a dream come true. Like, that was crazy. Still can't believe I actually had, a, like, a cool relationship with Vince Carter, you know? So, right. yeah. 
Okay, so um, if the NFL had a fantasy draft, and and uh, who do you think the Falcons would pick for their first three rounds, and why? A fantasy uh, draft, like yeah. So this is just like, like all the players draft? in the league. We're just in. The, we're just like oh. free agents. Who would they draft? Yeah, for oh, like shit? the first okay. three rounds. So. Who would they draft is cool, and I will talk about that. But who should they draft is a different story. Right. So I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go. Who would they draft? They would draft Julio Jones because they're in love with Julio. I, I mean, there's nothing wrong with Julio, but they're in love with Julio, so they would draft him again. Right. I think they would draft um, Christian McCaffrey. That's and a good they, one. And if they had a chance. They would draft Deshaun Watson. Yeah, I, I literally said that. Deshaun Watson, they need him. Yeah. So, now um, who now who they should draft? They should draft. Um I like Deshaun. I would say Deshaun. Mm-hmm. I would say I'm trying to think of people who really are Atlanta, like you would think of at Atlanta, you know, when you think right. of them. So I would say, um, I would I would say DeAndre Hopkins. I mean, he's your Atlanta type. And um the third person, I would say I'm gonna go defense. I would think they would draft someone like who is who is a defender that everybody loves. You know what? Aaron Donald, like somebody like Aaron that. Donald would be a beast, but you know who right. to me is Atlanta, even though he's from New Orleans. Um Cameron Jordan. He, is the honey badger? Oh, um, that would yeah. be good. So I would, I would say, um, the honey badger, just because he has that flavor, you know. Right. And I think he would be good. Right. Okay. So here's a question about uh, college basketball. What NCAA basketball teams do you think will be in the Final Four this year? I, I hope oh. Illinois, uh, but I doubt it. Um, Michigan, I think Michigan's going to be there. Um, I think, you know what? Gonzaga always loses, but I think they get there. Believe it or not, if they, I know I'm tripping. I know people don't think I'm tripping, but if they get in the tournament, I wouldn't be surprised if Michigan State surprises everyone. So Michigan State, um, Michigan. If hopefully it depends on what bracket they are, but Michigan State, Michigan, Illinois not going to be there. I don't think Illinois is going to be there, but I'm just saying. But uh, I want them to. But anyway, uh, so Michigan, Michigan State, Gonzaga. I think Gonzaga is going to get there, and the last team. Um, I don't know, man. I, I would say. I'm going to come up with somebody that nobody is thinking of right now. Um, I don't – I'm going to pick Florida State. I mean, they're playing good Ooh. right now. So, those are my four teams. Some good picks. Okay. So, here's a question about the NBA. What NBA player do you think is going to be the MVP this year and why? Zach Levine. Uh, no, I'm just yes, kidding. sir. I just said it for you. <laughs> yep. I just said it for yep. you. Yep. Um, Honestly, I think the MVP this year is probably going to be Joel Embiid. Um, he's playing phenomenal, and the fact that they have the best record in the East, and I don't, I don't think that's going to change. We finally get to see Joel Embiid play the way we wanted him to play. I mean, before he would take all the threes, shooting, you know, he's seven foot, he's shooting eight three-pointers a game. That's not how he's supposed to play. He's supposed to dominate inside. And I right. think now that he has Doc Rivers there, now he has a, a legitimate team. You still have Ben Simmons, but you have shooters and Danny Green. You have Seth Curry. You still got D- Tobias Help, Tobias um, Harris, I'm sorry. And then your bench. You got a nice bench coming off with Dwight Howard. I like Shake Mil- Milton. Um, so he got shooters. So now if you double – you have to worry about the shooters. So because you're worried about great shooters, you really can't double like you can. I think that's why he's tearing up the league. And I think I think they're going to the finals, man. Okay. All right. I think you're going to like this question. How many more championships do you think the Alabama football team will win? 
That the who? That the Alabama football team will win. Alabama. Um, I don't know, man, because, you know, one thing about Alabama, like, they're serious, and I think they, they probably win right. a few more. Like, I, at one time, I'm going to tell you this real quick story. I used to um, work at this one job, and I had this guy. He was so full of He loved Alabama uh, Crimson Tide. He wore glasses and everything, so he always talked about them and everything, but get on my nerves with it. But either or, I guess he was right because they were good. <laughs> but I'm <laughs> making a long story short. I think uh, Crimson Tide, the next, as long as Saban there, I think they'll win. I think they can win. Let's say if he coaches five more years, I think they'll win. Three more. I don't think it's too many people. It's not too many people who can out coach him and they getting all the talent. Now they have a now they're focusing on offense. You know, still defense is still good. It's hard to beat a team like that. And right. we got the best coach in the world. Three more. Right. I think they went three more. Okay. Oh, I got another question for you. Uh mm -hmm. I'm a huge fan of Zach Levine. Uh, you think you could hook me an interview up with him? <laughs> You know what? I'm going to try to share this video with Zach Levine. Zach Levine, um, again, Raphael from the three-point conversion. I need an interview. I got a chance to interview him already, man. I um, talked to him, and I forgot to mention you when it happened, but I promise you next time I get a chance to talk to him, and not as far as unless I get in contact like with his agent or whatever, but if it's one-on-one, -on -one, I would definitely do it, uh, mention you and have him shout you out, tell him you're his biggest fan. Okay. I am promise you I'm going to make that happen. All right. Now it's time for a little game I call SKT, Sports Knowledge Trivia. Uh, so you have 30 seconds to answer a question I'm going to ask you. Okay, so are you ready? Sure. Let's go. Right. Name 10 NBA All-Stars in the last three years in under 30 seconds. Three, two, one, go. Trey Young, LeBron James, Carmelo Anthony, Dwayne Wade, Kobe Bryant, Dirk Nowitzki. Um, who else am I mi missing? Um, good Lord, Luka Doncic, um, Dwight Howard. You said 10 years? And uh, Jason Tatum, Donovan Mitchell, Chris Paul. Is that 10? Yep. Okay. All right. You did good. All right. So that's it. Thanks, thanks. Uh, yeah. Oh, man. Look, can, can I ask you a question? Yeah. Can I ask you a question? So all the um, LBB fans, let them know when, when you decide, when you decide to um, finally let Mr. Raphael, Mr. Controversy, um, host your show. <laughs> Can I have you on as a guest? Oh, for sure. And when are you going to come on my show? When, when, when are you going to let me interview you? Soon. Once I get that interview with Zach Levine. I mean, you got to <laughs> get it. <laughs> oh, actually, one more question. Uh, I know prior to the COVID restrictions, you were able to talk to a bunch of the players ringside. Who was your favorite player to talk to? Mm, that's a great question. Um, just with, with any sport? Oh uh, yeah, any sport. Um, believe it or not, I'm gonna give you uh, two. I'm gonna give you one was Jimmy Butler. Me yeah. and Jimmy Butler was um, every time he would come, he would always we would always talk after the you know besides on the air you know it was off the air or whatever, and we would always talk, laugh, trip out, and then the next. When I really enjoy is Marshall Falk. Mm -hmm. Marshall Falk, because every time Marshall comes on, it's like family. You know, we laugh, we cut up, you know, we never could get through an interview the way we want to, just because we're having a good time. So it'd be um Marshall Falk and um and your guy um Jimmy Butler. All right, cool.
So, uh, LBB Nation, I need you guys to go and check out the Three Point Conversion and also LittleBoneBoyClothingCompany.com. Make sure you guys like, subscribe, and hit the notification button because I have more videos coming soon, and I'm pretty sure you don't want to miss them. All right, thanks, Mr. Con thanks, Mr. Controversy, for tuning in. No doubt. Thank you, man. All right, thank you. Make sure you guys like, subscribe, and hit the notification button because I have more videos coming soon and I'm pretty sure you don't miss them. Bye! Hey, and if you're looking to advertise your business on the LBB Nation show, just simply send us an email and we'll get right back to you.